Hello, how are you? In this video we will see can string theory be confirmed. Welcome to the question answer channel. I thank Tomas Vargazan, Jay Wacker, JetBrains and Jeffrey Werbach for sharing their answers to this question with us. We'll start with Tomas Vargazan's answer. No, this is the key weakness of the string theory and a reason why it's losing momentum lately. String theory. String theory says the elementary particles are closed strings that vibrate at different frequencies. Different frequencies give different elementary particles. It can be used to explain a whole lot about the fundamental basic blocks of the universe and fits the known theory well. It could well be the elementary particles indeed are vibrating strings. However, the string theory ends there. In over 40 years of study, the string theory has failed to make a single prediction that could be verified by experiments. No, it hasn't made predictions that turned out to be false. It failed to make any predictions at all. While the theory fits the existing knowledge well, it cannot be used to explore further. String theory is much like a book of cryptic prophecies that all come true. It's not a particularly interesting book until you use it to accurately predict a future event. In XKCD terms, here's the funny part. The string theory could be true. It could be all matter and energy in the universe really is made of tiny strings that vibrate in 11 dimensions, of which 7 are compacted and thus invisible if you're bigger than an elementary particle. It could all be true, but the math this requires doesn't churn out anything useful that could be tested by a titanic being composed of not one but several elementary particles. The string theory is unfortunately looking like a dead end. A pity, it did promise to tell us much about the life, universe and everything and open whole new universes for us to explore and whatnot. Ah well, I hope the next one is even better. The following answer is from Jay Wacker. First, physical theories are never proven. They're confirmed by experiments. We do not know whether string theory can be experimentally confirmed or not. The issue is that string theory is, possibly, the theory at the shortest distance scale. There is a property of physical theories known as decoupling, which says that as a function of distance, the effects of short distance physics behave as delta O, O, opening parenthesis, L, short, L, O, closing parenthesis, N, delta U, L short L O, N, where O is some observable in L, short, L short, is the short distance scale in L, O, low, is the distance scale associated with the observable and N is some power that is strict greater than equals zero, frequently N equals two or four, which means that if L, string, L string, is 10 to the power of 18 GeV and L underscore O equals 1000 GeV, LHC observations, we're talking about a measurable small discrepancy. There are classes of observables where N equals 0. This is obviously good, but you must come up with processes where underscore only underscore str. Access this answer and support the author as a Quora Plus subscriber. Access all answers reserved by J. Wacker. For Quora Plus subscribers, access exclusive answers from thousands more participating creators in Quora Plus. Browse ad-free and support creators. Start free trial. Learn more. We continue with JetBrains' answer. There are some ways to do that. You can find instructions online on how it can be achieved, or you can download a piece of JetBrains software packaged with a crack, or some other modification of a genuine version. However, options like this pose several risks. The first thing to consider are the legal consequences. If you use a counterfeit or cracked version at work, it may interfere with your employer's copyright policy, which could lead to termination and or criminal liability. There might be some unwanted side effects as well, like slower execution, higher memory consumption, or unexpected crashes. Finally, because cracked versions come with a third-party modification under the hood, you may expect to have to deal with unwanted additional workload, such as participating in botnets or cryptocurrency mining. In addition, cracked versions can introduce viruses to your system. Given all that, it's much safer to use genuine JetBrains software. There are several ways to get access to genuine versions with minimal or even no expense at all. Take advantage of special offers. There are a number of special offers you can apply for to get a discount for JetBrains software or to use it for free. You can find out more about them here. There are offers for open source projects and students. Participate in the early access program. The EAP provides access to pre-release builds of JetBrains products. It lets you try the latest features and improvements for free. Just like releases, the EAP happens three times a year. You can learn more about it here. Try a monthly subscription first. If your trial is coming to its end but you still need some time to explore the product, you can try purchasing a monthly subscription for it. For individuals, the prices are cheaper than for companies. For example, an individual WebStorm subscription costs as little as a few US dollars a month. You can always cancel the subscription at any time. Get a yearly subscription at a cheaper price. If you are getting a lot of use out of the product and are ready to extend your subscription, you could get a yearly subscription. It comes with a discount, so you'll get two months for free. What's more, the price goes down in the second and third years. Use the Community Edition IDEs. Two of JetBrains IDEs, IntelliJ IDEA and PyCharm, have free, open source editions. Check if they work for you and if they do, you can keep using them without paying anything. We can continue with Jeffrey Werbeck's answer. 
String theory is not a scientific theory which is why we should put the word theory in quotes. It's a mathematical model derived of a very good theory called QFT quantum field theory. It expands on the QFT premise that all fields are generated by the interaction of fundamental forces and owing to the dynamism of those interactions, the fields oscillate rapid expansion, contraction cycles, which serve as the mechanisms of the fields interacting with each other dynamically to generate all phenomena. The annoying thing is, the graviton has such a vanishingly small energy content that it can never be detected by any machine. Someone calculated that there wasn't enough energy in the whole galaxy to power a machine which could detect one graviton. We can only surmise that gravitons are real, the goal of string theory and that conjecture was greatly boosted by the LIGO experiment in 2015 which verified the existence of gravitational waves, predicted by GR a century before, which is a strong indication that the gravitational field oscillates, the basis of the claim that the graviton must be real. This would complete the standard model in physics which catalogues all the quantum excitations, so-called particles, an outdated description of quantum actions. In a way, no one needs string theory models anymore, it can be regarded as a mathematical curiosity with no practical application. The video is over, thank you for staying until the end. If this answer helps you, please help us too by leaving a like and subscribing to this channel. It allows us to move forward on YouTube. Here is the end of the video, leave a comment to tell us if these answers are more useful to you. See you soon.